Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar graph in a digital assignment made with Google Slides. For this specific assignment, we are graphing the favorite sport among a group of students. In this assignment, we were provided a template that looks like graph paper, and we could insert text boxes, shapes, and lines to create our graph. But in this video, I want to show you how to create a digital graph using Google Slides and Google Sheets. I'm going to go to the blank page where I want my graph to be created, and I'm going to select Insert, then Chart, and then Column. Now you may be asking why am I not choosing bar because I'm creating a bar graph. That's because I want my bars to appear vertical and not horizontal. So I'm going to click column and that's going to create a template of a digital graph that I will be able to edit. So when I click the graph and I click the upper right hand corner, I want to select open source and this is going to open up a Google Sheet where I will be able to edit my data. So I want to be able to see the table and the data that I need to enter into the Google Sheet. So I have moved the tab for the Google Sheet into its own window. Um, so now I can see the data as well as what um, I'm working on. In this template, we see that this is a double bar graph. And so we have two different series of data. Um, this is a single bar graph we don't need two sets of data. If we were graphing, say, the favorite sport of students in three different classes, then we would have three series and then three bar graphs. But since this is a single bar graph, I'm just going to delete this data here because it's not needed. So in the first column of the sheet, I'm going to write the categories or groups that are going to be placed along the horizontal or X axis. So that's going to be the sports. So I'm going to enter the sports in each one of these boxes here. Okay. In the next column, I'm going to enter the number of students that chose each one of these sports as their favorite. So it was 13 for soccer, 10 for football, and so on. It's really important that I push enter every time I edit the data or label in one of these um, boxes so that that data is saved in the chart that I'm creating. So now there are a few things that I need to do to this chart to make it a bit better. And that's going to be adding a title and at least labeling the horizontal and vertical axes. So to do that, while I'm in Sheets, I'm going to click these three little dots here and click Edit Chart. Now when I do that, I am brought up these um, different options that I can manipulate. So we are going to stick with a column chart, but if you wanted to change your chart type, you could do that here. I'm going to select Customize, and I'm going to go to Chart and Axis Titles. So the first thing I want to change is the title of this graph. I also want to label my horizontal or x-axis, and this is the favorite sport. I also need to label the vertical or y-axis. The other thing I can do here is change the font color and um, the font style, the size. I can manipulate all these things here. Now because this is a single bar graph, I don't necessarily need this legend right here, so I'm going to remove that. This would be important to have if I had multiple bars, so we know um, what color represents um, which group of data. Um, I could go through here and manipulate a few different things. I can change the font color and the font style here as well. I can change the minimum and maximum values. But for the most part, when we're creating a bar graph here, um, the program is going to create the best fit uh, for your graph. So that doesn't really need to be manipulated. So now when I go back to my digital assignment and go to the slide, you'll see that it says that I need to update my graph. I'm going to click that. And now I have my beautiful digital graph showing all the data that I needed. So I'm going to close this out. If for some reason I made a mistake, I can go back 
and open up that Google Sheet and edit any of the data. But I'm happy with my graph and so I am done. And I hope this video helps you more easily um, create digital graphs and digital assignments.